Typical Cranleyan is the type of person who I think is prepared to get stuck into as much as they can. Uh, they like to be involved. They may be uh, very good at sport. They may be very good at music. They may be very good at drama or very into those things. But in, uh, we, we provide the opportunity for them to do all of those. So we don't pigeonhole people as a, as a musician. And we don't pigeonhole people as a sportsman. We say that you've got the opportunity to do all of those. I'll shake your room for that. Ah, oh, Porter, take Mr. Percival, who's from the Inland Revenue, to room number one. Sorry. What's Cranley School like as a place? Um, it's stunning. I think it is stunning. It's not, it's not austere, but it's quite grand. And the buildings are beautiful, and we've got new buildings coming up all the time, so we've got modern technology. It's just, but it, it still maintains its kind of old style, looks really lovely, and everyone who comes here just thinks it's beautiful. The grounds are amazing. We've got massive grounds and they're all here, so that is really lovely. The Sixth Form organise concerts, they organise charity events, um, they help organise house plays and direct house plays a lot of the time. So yeah, they do a lot of stuff beyond, beyond you know, their everyday lessons. <laughs> The, the type of student who comes to Cranley is uh, a type of individual who is really prepared to get stuck in. It's they they see the good in each other in all the various different activities that they do, and there are many many opportunities for all students to get involved not both not on a school just on a school level but on a on a house level as well and so pupils in each of the houses see each other and the good in each other whether it's in debating or in sport or in music uh...